The overnight airstrikes continued into daybreak in the city of Gaza. The Israel military forces have been targeting the Hamas stronghold following a surprise terror attack by the militant group that claimed the lives of 1,300 people in Israel a week ago. And dozens of other Israelis remain in captivity. My family is in Gaza being held by uh, Hamas. Uh, I feel like I have no uh, uh, help and salvage from anyone. The widespread strikes have obliterated homes, hospitals and communities in Gaza, where more than 2,000 people have been killed. Hundreds of them are children. Residents were given 24 hours to evacuate the densely populated strip ahead of Israel's planned ground assault. The last remaining exit for Gazans is the border with Egypt. That crossing was only temporarily open for Americans to go through following an agreement with U.S. authorities. The U.N. is urging Israeli authorities to protect more than one million Palestinian civilians that are sheltering in Gaza, a sentiment echoed by Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, who's visiting Arab leaders. Uh, Hamas is not representative of the Palestinian people or their legitimate aspirations for the future. Uh, Hamas is a terrorist group. Its only agenda is to destroy the state of Israel and to murder Jews. As Israel pursues its legitimate right to defending its people and to trying to assure that this never happens again, it is vitally important uh, that all of us look out for, uh, for civilians. The war has led to global protests supporting each side in the long-standing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, including here in New York City, where thousands gathered to show solidarity. Senator Charles Schumer sharing on social media that he will be in Israel in the coming days to offer support.